Welcome back. This is chapter 4 from the diary of Anne Frank, written by Anne Frank. And now I'm going to explain page number 5354 to you. So here we go. But that I would never be able to cure myself of the habit since my mother talked as much as I did, if not more. So she claimed he had that she couldn't stop talking because it was in her blood. The same habit found its reflection in her mother and she too talked as much as the author did if not more maybe that she didn't talk more than her but she indeed talked as much as the author did so she was helpless she claimed here that she was helpless in this matter and that uh, there is not much you can do about inherited traits and uh, since it was inherited, since it was in the blood, since it was uh, genetical, so uh, you cannot do much about this habit. You cannot do much about this quality of hers. And Mr. Keesing had a good laugh at my arguments, but when I proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson, he assigned me a second essay. And Mr. Keesing found her arguments quite strong, or quite good, quite logical. So he had a good laugh at her, a logic, her writing. When, but when? I proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson, but uh, the moment she started talking and uh, she talked for a while and then continued to talk to uh, the second level, uh, the teacher couldn't uh, control his irritation and he punished her again and assigned her a second essay. This time it was supposed to be on an incorrigible chatterbox and this time the topic given to her was an incorrigible chatterbox that is a chatterbox a talkative person who cannot be corrected who cannot be mended or who cannot mend his habit. I handed it in and Mr. Keesing had nothing to complain about for two whole lessons. Uh, next day, she produced her essay. He read it. He found it equally good this time. And he had nothing to complain to her. And uh, she continued. Since it was in born, she couldn't stop herself from talking. So she kept on talking for two whole periods however during the third lesson it finally had enough so uh, however he couldn't control again himself because uh, that was quite a big irritation uh, she continued to talk for two periods and the third period he couldn't control himself and Again, he had to punish. He punished her for the third time. Aim, Frank. As punishment for talking in class, write an essay entitled Quack, 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. So, this title, Quack, 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 said Mr. Chatterbox was uh, her next essay the class road I had to laugh too or oh, the class road and laughter and the author had to laugh as well uh, because that was such a uh, such a funny topic such a funny uh, say 
SA to write on. Though I nearly exhausted my ingenuity on the topic of chatterboxes, uh, though she had finished, she had exhausted, uh, she had used, consumed all her creative ideas on the topic chatterbox and since she was given it for the third time so uh, she was now she her head was now say empty of any idea it was not having any idea a new idea on the same topic it was time to come up with something else say he thought it was time to come up with something very special not uh, something original of obviously something original at the same time my friend saying is good at poetry offered to help me write the essay from beginning to end in verse and I jumped for joy her friend sent there who was also reading in the same class he offered her help and offered to write the entire poem from the beginning till end in the verse form in the form of a poem and she was quite excited about it she uh, was so excited uh, that she almost jumped uh, out of joy a Mr. Keezing was trying to play a joke on me with this ridiculous subject, but I'd make sure the joke was on him. Oh, she thought. She thought. Or oh, that Mr. Keezing tried to play a joke. He made fun of her with this subject with this topic but she decided to make a fun of him with the same topic that is she took this opportunity to uh, to humiliate him with the same topic i finished my poem and it was beautiful she finished her poem it was possibly dictated by him or written by him but then she had to copy it down she so she finished her work and it was a nice poem it was about a mother duck and a father swan with three baby ducklings the poem was about mother duck and father swan and their three baby ducklings who were beaten to death by the father because they quacked too much uh, here uh, these three ducklings were beaten to death they were killed by father swan because they talked a lot because they quacked a lot luckily mr keezing took the joke the right way and she was fortunate that uh, he didn't take it otherwise he took it in the right spirit he read the point to the class adding his own commands and to several other classes as well he read the poem written by the author to the same class then he also read it out to some other classes but with some commands that he added from his own side that is after uh, making some adjustment in the poem he read it to um, a lot of classes in school since then I've been allowed to talk and haven't been assigned any extra homework and on that day the teacher realized that she was a genius she had a creative uh, creativity she has a creative mind and since then he stopped punishing her and she was allowed to talk in the class on the contrary, Mr. Keezing's always making jokes these days. On the hindsight, Mr. Keezing uh, was always found making jokes these days. Yours ain't. And with this, he uh, completed 
uh, she concluded writing her diary for uh, the day. And with this, we have also come to the end of this chapter. Thank you.